Hey guys, and today I'm going to be doing a magic trick on the seventh in the series, uh, the easy magic tricks from Card Trick Central. Um, I'm going to be doing the appearing card trick, alright? The magical, the famous appearing card. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start this trick. Before I start this trick, um, I would give it to you, give it to a spectator, let them shuffle the deck, alright? Let you shuffle the deck, let everything be all shuffled up. No chance to be doing anything, you can see I'm not looking at the cards, not getting an idea of anything. Alright, and shuffling everything up so everything's all shuffled up. Alright, we'll even do a little shuffle like this, alright? Alright. Alright, one more time. Alright. Alright. Here's an, everything's all shuffled up. Alright. Okay. Alright, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to pick a card, alright? Pick any card you want. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Alright. Go ahead. This is going to be your card, okay? Can you see that? Alright, you can see that? You guys see that card? Okay, good. Now what I'm gonna do is gonna take your card. Alright. Stick it right here. Alright. Third three it's on top of the final three cards, right? And all I'm gonna do, close up the deck, stick this on top, everything's all shuffled up. Now so I'm going to show you that everything is lost. I'm just gonna do a few little cuts, alright? Do a few little cuts. Sorry. Alright, show you that everything is lost, okay? You cut here, cut here, cut here, okay? Go ahead and um, put this here, bring this to the top, put this in the middle, okay? This is just, you can tell I don't have lots of experience cutting, but um, everything's all shuffled up now, okay? I was trying to do like three ones, four ones, just so you know everything's all shuffled up, okay? Now all I'm gonna do is put the top card, or the bottom card, forgive me, the bottom card, just stick it on the top, alright? So now the top, take this card here, this card here, this card here, the bottom three cards, alright? Now, what I'm gonna do, put this like this, I don't need this anymore. You see three cards here, the table is sticky, alright? Let me show you the bottom card, alright? This is not your card, correct? Alright, I didn't think so, okay, stick that down, okay? Now, this is not your card, right? Nope. Okay, good. Alright, and then the last one, this is not your card, right? Alright, so that's not your card, okay? Now watch, just like this. Just watch, alright? There is your card. Alright, magically appeared down there, alright? Pretty cool, alright? Alright guys, let's go ahead and go into the revealing of this trick. Um, a mostly simple trick. Um, it's not the most amazing trick ever, not the really um, one I would um, suggest using, but it's a decent magic trick to learn. It's cool to know. Alright, from the beginning of the trick, you go ahead and shuffle everything up, alright? You go ahead and shuffle everything up so everything is all shuffled up, alright? There's no chance you can do anything, alright? And then you can, well, with this part, usually you get the deck to the spectator to shuffle, alright? Always get the deck to, when you're doing a real shuffle, always get the deck to the spectator to shuffle so you know everything's all shuffled up, alright? Just always get to them to shuffle, alright? Everything's all shuffled out now. They can pick any card they want, alright? You can fan them out, or just go through, tell them when to stop, or just go through and they tell you, pick out a card, okay? So, you pick out this card right here, alright? You show them their card, let them pick it out, let them hold it. Alright, here we have the Eight of Diamonds, okay? Now, what you gotta do is you take the bottom three cards, and you put, just like this, you go and put the Eight of Diamonds on top of these three. Okay, these three don't, doesn't matter what these are, okay? And you close up the deck. Now, next part of the trick takes some practice and takes some creativity. You need to now control these four bottom cards, alright? You need to control these four bottom cards. Don't lose them in the deck. You need to always keep control of these, alright? How I would do it is um there are fake shuffles out there. I don't usually use them. Um there's the one you can do, this fake shuffle, I believe. You have to be careful with this though when doing it. Um so you have four cards, but you put this down first and do the others. And you need to time it enough so you can have at least the bottom four cards still there, okay? You can do it that way. This keeps it controlled to the bottom of the deck, alright? I didn't do it that way just because um, I didn't want to in this trick. Here, do I have the four bottom cards still? Look at this. See, this time I barely made it. I just got the four bottom cards. Right? So you have to be careful with that, alright? Another way is to um, do a bunch of fancy cuts, alright? The first one I did was a three cut, okay? I went and put these in the middle. And I controlled yours to the top, okay? There, there's your your cards right there, the four cards. 
Now I held a pinky break in it, all right? I held a pinky break in it. So what I did was you don't see the break at all, okay? The, the, all the, you see the little break there. You can't see it from the, make sure it's down. They can't see the front, the side. I, they see it's normal, okay? And then the second one I did was just a little cut four places, all right? Stick this right here. All right, stuck it right here. I took this to the top. Or yeah, I took this to the top. If you want, you could even go and like do another little cut here. Take those out right there. Stick them right there. Whatever you want. Just try to like you have to practice cutting though. I don't usually cut, so I'm not really good at it. But just practice cutting, and then you always control this to the down to the bottom. All right. However you want to do it, just make sure you control this down to the bottom of the deck. Okay. You can even just do like a simple half cut. Okay. Cut it. All right. Hold your pinky break. All right. Hold your pinky break. I say, okay, and I go to like, all right, can cut it right here. All right, and when you're cutting it, if you're going to do it like this, just one, make sure you ruffle down the side of the deck and then pick right here, okay? But try not to expose your pinky, all right? So we control these to the bottom of the deck, and where did our cards just go? We lost our cards. One second. We just lost our cards. Way to go. All right. Let me find our... All right, here's our card, okay? Bottom four cards, all right? See so that? You want to make sure that don't lose your card, okay? So then, what you do now is just have your... There's the bottom card. There's your card, and there's those three, okay? So you take the bottom card, stick it to the top, all right? Now, what you do is you put one, two, three down, okay? Get rid of this deck. Don't need any more. These three cards, as you can see, all right? It can be done like this. Don't mess them at all, okay? Now, what you do is you square it up, say, okay, is this your, ask for the spectators. Is this your card? They say no. Go ahead and put it down, okay? Put the top card down, alright? You do not put down the queen. You go and say, okay, is that your card? No, it's not. Hold it square, take it down, or like do it really fast, alright? You want to do it like, take it off fast, alright? Put that card down. This is actually their card, alright? Now you say, okay, is this your card? Yes, the spectator. Make sure you don't see this card. Say, is this your card? Point to it. They say no, okay, put that down. They say, alright, last card? Is that your card, alright? And they say no. Okay, put that down. And what you're going to do is the guide suggests using like a spatula thing. Like somehow, I don't know what they mean by spatula, but somehow just like picking it up and saying, okay, and just like that, there's your card. Something like that, really weird. Um, you could even like wave your hand over it or whatever or close it up and say, okay, just watch this and make their card magically appear. Do something that looks mystical, though you're actually not doing anything, make it look like you are doing something to fool them, maybe, okay? Um... Other than that, guys, that's mostly the trick. Um, not much else to the trick. Um, it's a mostly simple trick, guys. Um, um, other than that, guys, that's mostly it. Um, make sure you subscribe to my videos, guys. I'm going to come up with these new videos all the time. Um, I have all the um, uh, cards, Trick Central, the Magic Tricks, the number one online site for Magic Tricks. Right now, I'm going through all the easy tricks. I will get to the others, but um, just keep it updated. Subscribe right away. So you get to see everything. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, great comment. Um, send me a message if you have any questions. Any questions or anything, send me a message. Um, I will be able to answer your questions. Um, also, check out the site. I have something there about Swagbucks. Um, Swagbucks is a site powered by Google, and you do search, use your search engine. And when you use your search engine, you earn um, free Swagbucks. With Swagbucks, you can buy things like PlayStation 3s or Xbox 360s or PSB Go's or the iPhone or iPod touches whatever and they also have two um, gift cards they have more than one two gift cards but they have two special individual gift cards the Amazon gift card and the PayPal gift card with those two gift cards alone you can basically buy anything on the net that you want to Amazon.com is almost everything you can go buy almost anything you want from them um, things they don't have go to eBay eBay has everything else alright so that's really cool also there's something there if you guys have ever heard of lockers um, or you haven't lockers are almost the same thing as Facebook so some things are a little cheaper, though it's harder to refer people and get points from referring. Swagbucks is more referring. If you can get a lot of referring, um, you can get a whole lot more stuff than lockers. So lockers also stick something there, too. Um, if you need invites, PM me. I will give you an invite. Other than that, guys, thank you again for watching, and take care.